let's just talk about this move down right in here and as i'm sure you know it by now and if you don't know it i should tell you this was caused by the recent news that sec decided to file an appeal against the ripple victory now the main question that i'm sure everybody is having in their minds at the moment is that how deep is this move down right in here going to be are we going to have like a huge move down in order to get back to somewhere around the 20 cents level or maybe this is going to be just a temporary move down and after it's over we are going to get some big moves on the upside in my opinion we shouldn't really be worried about anything and i'm going to talk about my reasons and present my case of why at the moment at least xrp in my opinion is quite safe you see let's go back to the beginning of the fight between sec and the ripple and it was if you remember because i do december of 2020 right in here and when the news got out we got a big move down and from let's say 60 cents we went all the way down here to about 20 cents levels now accidentally this time we were also somewhere around the 60 cents area and do you think that we are going to do something like this well you see this is just a very simple appeal and this is caused by the actual lawsuit at the beginning so i just do not believe that a simple appeal is going to affect xrp as much as the original lawsuit did no that is probably not going to be in play do we have some other reasons to be maybe a bit optimistic yes you see in here xrp got delisted on a lot of exchanges and do you think now we are going to have the same situation absolutely 100% not and again this is in my opinion another reason to believe we're not gonna have most likely these types of moves anymore and this is my final reason when we got this move down what happened after it from 20 cents level we got all the way up to somewhere around the two dollar level about let's say like a 10x move so basically xrp did its own thing and it just didn't care about the lawsuit and i do believe that the same actually going to happen now and we are just going to do what we are supposed to do normally and this move down right in here i just don't think that it's going to continue for quite a lot and for example unless we are going to get back to these levels right in here i think this is very very unlikely and now that we have put the news aside hi everyone welcome back i hope you are having a great time with your family and loved ones and in today's video about xrp we are going to see what is going on in terms of elliott waves classic technical analysis and also indicators in this move right in here which happened in the last 24 to about 48 hours so before we talk about this thing let's talk about the overall scenario and i should tell you again i am overall 100 percent bullish in xrp because you see i use a lot of elliott waves in my analysis and if you want to argue that we are going to have for example our final bottom around this region maybe this is going to be like a very important support well okay then you need to be able to find off of the lowest slow in this area a one two three four five wave up this specific example is a normal five wave we can have other kinds of impulsive structures and in this case in the midterm in xrp we want to talk about this thing which is called an expanding leading diagonal and it looks like this this is our initial move up into wave 1 correction for wave 2 big move up into wave 3 which has to be larger than wave 1 this is very important correction for wave 4 it's going to be bigger than wave 2 and also unlike a normal 5 wave which ended we're not having overlapping of the waves between wave 4 and 2 in here we must actually have overlapping of the waves and finally this is going to be our final move up into wave 5 and it has to be the largest wave in this structure now in terms of the subwaves, it's actually pretty much the same as a normal 5 wave, meaning we're going to have 5 wave up into wave 1, 3, and 5. But this is the difference for wave 2 and 4. If we want to go 100% according to the rules, we need to say that we must have ABCs and only ABCs. Understood? Okay. Let's go on the live chart and see what is going on. And by the way, I would like to be a bit flexible. And if we have, for example, some WXYs for wave 2 and 4, it's not really going to matter for me at least that much. Having said that, I'm thinking off of this point in XRP, in the midterm, we are having a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave up. And followed by that, there is a very, very high chance that this move down is going to be in form of a correction structure. And again, on even a higher degree we are going to have an extremely extremely bullish setup because i'm thinking this is five up into one correction for wave two 
and the next move according to this scenario in xrp is going to be a huge huge one on the upside into wave three four five and who knows maybe just even in this move we are going to set an all-time high and take the high side around three and a half cents it's definitely possible so having this move down in the short term in my opinion is just not going to change anything overall in xrp and i am going to still remain 100 bullish now let's zoom in more and see what is going on in some lower time frames for example h4 let's zoom in more in here okay if you remember the last time that we talked about ripple we were somewhere around these areas and i was saying okay because seems like that we are having a one two three four five wave on the upside in here a complete one makes sense to get a move down but again i just didn't expect this move down in xrp to be that strong which in this move if i just hide everything there we go as you can see we got extremely extremely close to somewhere around this low now i'm going to check out different possibilities in here and the first one is going to be the most bullish scenario earlier in the video i told you if you want to be bullish on any chart and you want to say that the bottom is in okay then you need to be able to find a five wave on the upside off of the recent lowest low and here's the deal i think off of this point about 38 cents we are having an unbelievably clear five wave up to somewhere around this high and followed by that we are having a correction down which is in my opinion most likely in form of an abc expanded flat and then on a higher degree we can say you know what this is probably a one two and the next move is going to be like we talked about before big one on the upside into wave three and four and five now let's zoom in more okay for this move up we can consider different possibilities again just according to the most bullish case we can argue that this is going to be probably another one and a two structure but on a lower degree relative to this one and a two and after our wave two is over or maybe it's actually over already we are going to have a big move up into wave three and four and five in order to complete the sub waves for this larger degree wave three right in here and a correction for four another move up into wave five and so on and so forth which these moves right in here only in my opinion are going to get us to somewhere maybe above one and a half to about two dollars again according to these things we are extremely extremely bullish in xrp now in the short term in here you can argue for now at least and as long as we're not taking the low slow about let's say 50 and a half cents that this is going to be for example like another one or two and then we're going to get big move up into wave three four five but let's just say well okay we are going to actually continue this move down and in that move we are going to take this low. the question is does this change anything and are we going to say at that point that in xrp we are actually going to be bearish in my opinion absolutely 100 not and i'm going to tell you now what can be the worst case possibility for xrp so let's just delete this one okay we talked about this move up in ripple quite a lot and we were saying look there is a chance that this move is going to be a one two three four five wave up but because for our wave five right in here we didn't take the highest side in here about let's say 64 and a half cents we can say maybe this is going to be a truncated wave five sure they are very very rare but it is possible to have a truncated wave five and that's why we were saying you know what we can actually be bullish in xrp now if you want to go according to the worst case scenario then you need to say this is going to be if i just say this one okay and a b c on the upside off of the lowest low in here about let's say 43 and a half cents to somewhere around the high side and not an impulsive movement and what's the situation in here well if this is going to be in play then we can expect xrp to continue this move down in order to maybe reach to somewhere around these levels around this very 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 strong support area which is from daily and weekly time frame at the same time and it is going to be between let's say 41 and a half to about 43 43 and a half cents and this is the deal even in that case i'm going to argue you know what this is still going to remain a five wave up and followed by that whatever move down that we are going to have in here it's just going to be a correction structure on the side and if we do something like this i can argue you know what maybe this move down is going to be in form of an a b c zigzag and on a higher degree we can have starting from this point like we talked about it before 
a w x y in form of a flat and a zigzag which again is definitely a correction structure and after this move down is over we are going to expect again the same deal some more huge huge moves on the upside in xrp in order to hopefully hopefully set an all-time high and take the highest side around three and a half dollars so if the recent news are going to cause some big moves on the downside in xrp this is going to be in my opinion pretty much the extent of it and i highly highly doubt that in these moves we are going to take the lowest low all the way down here around let's say 38 30 eight and a half cents and chances are that overall we are still definitely going to remain bullish and by the way right around these areas i'm going to look at this move down in xrp as a very very solid buy opportunity so let's have our final conclusion and wrap up today's video about ripple first we talked about the news and i don't believe this is going to cost from 60 cents to have a big move down in order to reach to somewhere around the 20 cents level and we did have something like that before but it was at the beginning of the lawsuit I just do not believe that we are at the moment in the same environment, especially because at that point, we had a lot of exchanges delisting XRP. And right now, do you believe that's going to happen? I'm going to say most likely no. And I showed you earlier, even when we had that big move down after it, what happened, we got a 10x move on the upside. In other words, I fully believe that XRP is just going to do its own thing. And the recent news, in my opinion, is just going to cause some short-term moves on the downside and probably nothing more and here's a very important point even in this case i just don't believe that in xrp we are going to take the low slow all the way down here around 38 and a half cents and if we get some more moves on the downside then for me at least it's going to be great because i'm going to definitely look at these moves as a very very strong buy opportunity for me and i will definitely in here accumulate some more xrp in hope that we have a huge move up in order to set an all-time high because i told you before in my opinion this is going to be a one two and the next move you're not gonna believe it it's gonna be a big one on the upside into wave three four five and in terms of the target well the minimum one is going to be naturally setting an all-time high and taking the high side around three and a half dollars but i talked about some targets that i had in my mind in the previous videos and I got a lot of hate comments, so let's not talk about them anymore. Just know this, XRP is having a consolidation pattern right around this area, which took about six years. And according to Elliott's waves, if we're gonna have a long-term consolidation pattern, then the next phase on the upside is going to be unbelievably huge. That's why I am so, so optimistic in XRP, and I just do not believe that news like this are going to affect the overall bullish scenario absolutely not so i hope i explained everything well and you understood what is going on in xrp's price chart anyway if you found any value in my content i would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on twitter and if you want more maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto or maybe you want to learn some solid ta in order to be able to make good money in the markets and you want to have access to the ta course videos you can become a member and ask me anything you want and until the next video i hope you have a great time with your family and loved ones goodbye